Can you beat a screaming reel? I don't know sure if you can. And if you're anything like me, and you do lots of different fishing for lots of different species, in you know from lakes, still waters, canals, reservoirs, bit of perch fishing, lure fishing. You don't want loads and loads of reels, do you? It's good to just have a couple of three, four, five thousand size reels that you can use for lots of different types of fishing. And for me, this Infernos series is about as good as it gets. The clutch is mint. The reels look absolutely gorgeous. But the thing I like about them the most is how light they are. They're significantly lighter than other Corum reels. But also, this quick drag. So if you've hooked a big zoo creature like I have here, I can make really small adjustments to the drag. I haven't got to turn it all the way around, you know, half a turn, full turn. And if I get this fish in close and he decides, who is that ugly fellow? I do not want to get in his net. I can just loosen it off really quickly. I'm not going to get those surprises and suddenly bump a fish in the margins. And that's important when you're fishing for big fish. Or if like today, you're fishing for decent sized fish with barbless hooks. It's very important that you've got a drag that is very responsive. And the other thing I like about the Infernos, it's got a really cool feature actually. If you look at this spool, it looks like it's got two lips. And it don't look like it's got two lips because it's had liposurgery or any of that junk shoved in its lips. I'm talking about the lip of the spool. It looks really cool, this double lip, but it has got a, a very important purpose. It stops you overfilling the spool. Overfilling the spool with mono, and especially with braid if you lure fishing, can be a disaster. We all like to have it, you know, nice and parallel right up to the sort of end of the lip but you can get in a real mess, especially when you're fishing like I am today. I mean, I'm using a pellet waggler, I'm casting it three quarters of the way across the lake. I've got a very light bait on there and line twist can become a real issue when you're fishing like that, especially if you've overfilled the spool. We've all had those disasters, great big bird's nest, can't do anything about it. Well, the double lip just sort of stops you doing that. When you're filling up your spools, one thing you'll see with the 3,000 and the 4,000 size, if you take a spool of uh, feeder line, is a great uh, line to use in conjunction with these. 250 meters of six pound line will go straight on the 3,000. 250 meters of eight pound line will go straight on the 4,000. How easy is that? I've got to mess around with backing. Just literally fill it up to that first lip. The second lip is just there to act as a bit of a, a break. It's a nice shield for the line. The line absolutely flies off the spool. Like I say, I'm fishing a good 40, almost 50 yards with the three gram loaded blob today. Yes, I've got the wind behind me, but I've got my Infernos to help me get there. And as you can see, when, oh, when you've got a big freak show carp on the end and he's trying to pull your arm off, you can let him. Just one little click and I can make those tiny little adjustments to the drag. It's the perfect reel for course fishing, if you ask me. And we do a red version as well with a shallower spool, which again, you can use for float fishing, feeder fishing, but it comes into its own for lure fishing.